Clover is visiting the island. Oh, sigh. I'm going to spend us watching again. Let's get on down here. We need to water our plants first up. And we need to feed our chicken. And we need to smelt some of our... Wow, we've got so much to do. We did not manage to find the larger day. That's okay. Where's my watering can? So we're just going to get our gardening done. I actually really think we should put our, our pleep down in that space. We might make a pleep space um, down there rather than on the other side. I know watering 30 crops at a time does help your gardening um, achievements rock on pretty quick. Alrighty, what were we doing? We were checking our backpack. We were putting our seeds away. We were feeding our chickens. That's what we're doing first. Where is she? There she is. Hi, Chiquita. I know, right? You're such a good chicken. Oh. Um, we're good. Let's uh, let's throw our shiny rocks. Shiny rocks. I know I've got at least two. There we go. Oh my gosh. Well, there's another another thing locked down. Let's uh, get our our ore in because that will be awesome. See if we've got five ore. Yep, we are going to have five ore. Let's do that. I should have a bunch of tin as well, so we'll just get that cooking. And we'll head into town. What we'll do is we'll donate whatever it is we need to donate to um, to young Theodore. I should be fishing and doing a bunch of stuff. I just can't do it all at once. Uh, let's go pop in and say hi to Clover. Hi, Clover. Uh, well, I want to chat. Oh, what's up? Looking great is the first step toward feeling great. I mean, there's a lot of other steps too, but once you look good on the outside, you start feeling good on the outside, you know? Okay. Uh, I want to chat. Uh, good job for me. Cooked giant drumstick. I can do that. Yeah, no worries. I know where there's a really big turkey I can talk to. All right, let's. Okay, I'm not going there. Hey, Fletch. Hey, Ariel Blue. Uh, let's chat. Uh, I don't know. Let's just chat. Remember back when you set intense up for us both? Look at Solus now. You've done a good job. I tell you what. Uh, and do you need anything? Pink? Sure. Let's do that. Okay. Uh, we'll toddle on over to uh, young Theodore. See if we have anything to donate. I don't have anything for you. I'm really sorry, Theo. Uh, now, what did you like today? I'd like to chat. Oh, uh, well, let's talk. Clover is visiting today. I might have to go visit. Oh, you go visit, Clover. See, now we have to convince her to come just because romance is in the air. Okay, I will. Do I have any on me? No. You know what? We need to put this donation box down in the town. Because then what we can do, just drop it here, is um, whenever we 
get a request like that we can check and see if there's anything in there that we might want to there we go okay oh my goodness and again talk to John well I wanted to chat uh, do you have a job for me yes I can definitely give you my five wish line I oh, know. Nice to always have an easy one to do. Sell, job, sell goods. Sell John. You could sell John. We'll sell the polka dot shirt, the black ribbed jeans. Uh, I'll keep the ear hats for the moment. And we will also sell the bugs. Let's sell the eggs too. Just for the moment. Might as well sell those. I'll cry about it later. Yep, that sounds good. Thank you. Okay. Well, we're in a slightly better position than we were. Let's go and spend a few dinks over here to keep this lady happy. We'll buy a sun hat. Thank you. I may already own one, but anyway. And we'll buy a rainbow shirt. Yeah. Thank you. And, I don't know, they look exciting. What are they? Red shorts. <laughs> Everything's just right for me, isn't it, Clover? So basically what we're doing is we're trying to convince Clover to come and stay with us. Because, um, and by, we're doing this by buying her shop. <laughs> yep, I'll take that too. Alrighty. I don't know what I just did in the achievement section. Let's go check that out. Uh, wrong one. Alright, so we have a wet thumb. There we go. We have knitted out. Wow, okay, we can buy new... Oh my god. Alrighty. Farm feeder. We fed our animals. And we've helped a lot of people. That's pretty good. We're still not anywhere near. Okay, we can't do... I could probably do it if I had my boat. Here, find some buried treasure and catch four fish. Alright, what's my backpack? We have four spaces. Let's um, fill them. Kind of like this. And then we'll know when we've got our four fish. Where's my, where's my fishing room? There we go. Let's go catch our four fish. There should be some in this billabong. Alright, what have we got today? Maybe we'll catch something that Theodore hasn't got yet. He's always so happy when that happens. I know, that, that bobber looks so huge in the fish's mouth. Here we go. Hey, Baku Grunter, not just in rivers, Fletch. Fine, we'll, um, we'll catch some fish with this one. Yeah, fishy, fishy. I think too, if you um, strain your fishing rod a lot, you'll end up breaking it quicker, maybe. Baku Grunter. Man, I only had to come in here to get Fletcher's, or Fletcher's order. There's a fish. Oh, okay. It went over that way. Let's try this again. 
There we go. Those, I normally miss them when they do that straight up. Jungle perch. Alright, now that's just the water. I can see... Is that a barrel? That is a... No, it's a rock. But there's something in here that I might want to dive for. Freshwater mussel. I don't. Let's just toddle over this way. Okay. Let's go and see if we've donated a freshwater mussel to Theodore. And we'll check that new uh, task out on the board too. 10 fish and 15 insects. Ah, oh, awesome. A Baku grunter. So that should be 11 fish. And we have a freshwater mussel as well. Uh, one of these. <laughs> yes, you can have that. All right. Away we go. You know, I haven't looked in these other halls either. Oh my gosh. The fish. And they're in their environments. Oh, so good. I love that. This is magical. <sighs> that is so very cool. Hey, Aria. We're going to do the same here as well, just see if we can get a picture of her. I'm really pleased. I just didn't think, um, I didn't realise it would be in the, in its, in the environments. I'm so glad they did that. There's, pumpkin days you find the fish in different tanks, but, um, and, and it, it still works. It looks great, but it's, there's something special about finding them in tanks that's in their environment. It's just a thing. I like that, that accuracy. There's a lot of care and thought gone into this game. Every time I play it, it I just admire it even more. Alrighty. Let's, uh, let's go this way. It doesn't stop me enjoying the other games, but uh, it just does make this one so much fun to do. So what I'm thinking is we might put a fence along here and here and maybe down onto here. So we are going to have to move these and we'll actually make this pool a bit bigger for our um, our putty ducks. No, our pleep. No, I'll get it right eventually. We do need this copper though. We're going to build ourselves a couple of chip pens. Uh, which we need because we want to impress Mr. Irwin a little bit more and maybe buy some more stuff off him and he only sells chickens when he's visiting um, the other monsters I mean critters you have to buy when uh, once he moves in so we need to convince him to move in by buying a bucket load of stuff and speaking of a bucket load of stuff oh, I need another box what do I need to make one of those Um, gumwood and nails. And we're gonna, we, I do have the recipe for barrels as well, so we might want to get that going. So hardwood plank. Oh, uh, okay, I see. Let me just fix a few things. 
but we'll just take our crafting items out of here. And then what we'll do is we'll grab our palmwood plank, grab our gumwood plank. I don't. Okay, I need more gumwood. Fine. Let's just um. Oh, there they are. Grab those as well. Although now I've done that, I need a space for the nails. So let's uh. Let's just grab these and we'll put these all together. They need to go as well. Yeah. Okay, so that's all done. And we'll grab these. Okay, so what I need is I need another box. Alright, that'll be me. Uh, we may have to rearrange our boxes too. I might put my clothes boxes in so I can find a what I don't know, just do wardrobes in this game allow you to put clothes in them? That's the question. Alright, let's grab all of our clothes. Because it would look really nice to have a wardrobe there instead of a crate. Okay, let's go this way. We are going to need more, um, more nails as well. Let's just grab this and we'll go put these away as well. There we go. Grab this and grab that. Uh, let's just put. Oops, I missed some shoes. I oh, know. That in there. Grab our seeds and our poop. Put them in there. We'll grab these. Uh, we need to grab our fruit and pop them away. Okay, I might grab that, put that down. I do need to make some more spears. Oh, or maybe not. I think I've got some. So I think what I might do is I might grab all the stuff out of this crate and move it into a clothes crate. So pop that over there. Just grab all of that. See, now when I buy clothes or get clothes, I can actually keep them a little bit, maybe. Alright, I can keep one more of them. Then what we're going to do is empty this out. And we're going to pick that up. Alright, so this is my furniture crate. I might just put it down here. And then we'll just put all the furniture in it. Do I not need to give some used furniture to someone? I think I do. Stylish drawers. Let's do that. And I think that goes to clover. Uh, oops. And I do have more clothes. Let's put that in there. There we go. Alright, let's go. Find clover. Give her the stuff. I'm pretty sure it's her. Do I have anything else? Oh, no, she wants a giant, a giant drumstick. I need that spear. We're either going to go catch a wary emu, or we're going to go find one of those emus we saw the other day. So I have that and that and that and that. We're good. Uh, yeah, the emus. I know, where did I, I had to swim, didn't I? And then I ran across the top. So I came from this direction. And I think what I should probably do is get my spear and pop it down here. There we go. And maybe grab my energy and eat some. Okay, we're good. Let's go find ourselves an emu. I'm pretty sure he was in here somewhere. 
just don't know where he is right now. I know his friend's up there. We can go for that. We might actually. That one chased us. There it is. giant drumstick she better appreciate this well actually i'm not going to tell her she might be mortified we'll grab this tin ore and we'll grab that copper ore Hear the wind. All right, it looks like I've left some copper behind. We'll have to go get that. But it's getting late. We'll need to go and get uh, Clover her drumstick. Let's cook it too. Right, as much as I want to get some of those other rocks and see if they have things in them that we need, let's uh, let's head on this way. All right, heading for home. Oh, really? All right, we'll just take our time, I think, going through the trees. Oh no, it does look like you can harvest in a span. Oh, that is so nice. Mind you, do not ask me where the fruit is going, because I have no idea at this point. Oh, look at all of this and this is just what lands here I mean there's a bunch of it on the other side as well all right let's just wander through there's bound to be some more grab those while we're here we need to do some uh, fruit roasting while we're at it but what I think we'll do first is deliver oh no it's cooked this drumstick that's right I nearly forgot Clover would like the drumstick cooked. Uh, so we'll get these done. And I think what we'll do is I might cook these apples uh, while we wait. See, we do need another another cooker.
It's a, it's amazing the dingoes don't come and steal the, the meat when they're around. Alrighty, let us go and take this drumstick to Clover. You know what, I'm really glad I built this path, even if it's just because it stops me from getting lost. Okay. Oh no, Theodore with the hard tasks. Now, who did I need to give what to? Jumpstick for Clover and Theodore with the furniture. Hi John. Uh, Alright, Theodore, Clover. The stars are so pretty tonight. Uh, here you go. Yeah, I did. Uh, that one. Yeah, you're welcome. A picket fence blueprint. Nice. Alright, Theodore. What can I do for you? Well, I actually got furniture for you. Here you go. I did. You're welcome. Wow, I hope I like money. Okay, thanks, Theodore. I did not mean to look like I was going to stab you with my spear. We need to catch one more fish because because our tasks say so. Let's see if there are any in the lake. Billabong. Billabong. No, I think I need to go over to the river. And we will, I'm not going to go near that other lake just yet. There is an alpha croco in there. There's a fishy over there. We'll just aim right. Alright, that looks like an eel-tailed catfish. No, it's a bony tail. All right, but and we've given one to the museum, so that's fine. Ah, uh, what are we doing? We had a lot to do, and I keep forgetting what it was. Radio, we haven't fed the chicken yet. Let's go do that. Right. If you're ever not sure if you've watered your crops, just walk across it. If you've watered it, it will make a splashing sound, which is so handy. Alrighty, there's Chiquita. I know you love being petted even in your sleep. There's a dreaming chicken. Okay, to so all of that done, we're going to make a bombat enclosure up there and we're going to put our platy ducks, sorry, our pleeps down here, uh, which means I need to change a few things around. But I think what we were going to do first was build ourselves some more fences, which means I needed to put in some more timber. I do have a, a thing I need to put in. Let's grab that. And uh, 405, put that in there. I know, I could just stand there mesmerized, or I can actually just go and get my timber like I'm supposed to. Let's go with that. I don't have enough ore of any kind. No, okay. So we get these. I might have by the time I finish. And so much timber. We also need to replant our forest. Uh, we might plant it a little bit further away from the from the water next time, though. You know, what we could do. We could actually put our paddy duck in here and just clear these trees and plant them elsewhere. That might work too. We might do that. 
All right, I know, it's a plan. We'll get there. By the time anyone needs building, we're going to actually have the materials to do so. Although we are going to need some more nails, because the, the rate we're going through fencing is insane. Radio, let's go with our palms. Alrighty, let's gather all of that up. Beautiful. Gather all of that up. Tin ore by three. Okay, so. Right. I think I need some of those, um, some of those insects we saw down south as well. But it's getting late, so we might let this little character get some sleep. Just pop our crafting stuff away. Oh, I did have a bunch of that to do. All right, we'll do that in the morning. Oh, no, no, eggs don't go there. Maybe it's that for that matter. Seeds. Nope. Cooking materials. Okay, and cooked materials. There we go. I got 350 apples. I think we're gonna stand there and roast 175 of them tomorrow. But that's tomorrow. Right now we're gonna sleep. I think I forgot to catch. Oh, I caught my other fish. I was gonna say I forgot to catch the fish after all that. Alrighty. It is Saturday. I have not seen any cassowary, uh, sorry, any wary mew eggs yet. Um, pretty sure that's going to be a thing eventually. Let us go and water our crops. Might have to fill our watering can first. You know, we're going to get another visitor eventually. I missed one. There we go. Let's go pet the chicken. She's in here somewhere. She's a friend. That's why we needed all that copper. We're going to make some more chicken cages so we can hopefully, um, when Mr. Irwin arrives next, we'll hopefully have enough. Alrighty. For chicken houses, we need copper bars, spinifex tops, tin sheets, gummer plank, and nails. Copper bars, spin effect sheets. What am I doing? Okay, copper bars, spin effects, tufts, nails, gumwood planks, and tin sheets. 
I don't think I've got enough for more than one. One will do. All right. Oh, do I have enough for one more copper bar? Yes. Which means I may have enough for two chicken houses. Well, let's see. Okay. I know I'm trying to work out what I want to do most. I think we will terraform this area. It, it looks like a great platy duck pond. Let's have a quick look in, in here. All right, we need to go and do a fruit run. Collect the fruit that we've harvested. Because I'm pretty sure some of it went into interesting places. Like here. I'm not sure if we... No, we have not fed our chicken. Have we petted our chicken? Where'd she go? There was an egg in there. I don't like there's an egg in here somewhere. All right, we'll drop down here and up onto here. We need to go and... I know, where's my step? There it is. It looks like you could almost walk across your treetops, but I don't think that would be a good idea. Let's grab that. And we'll go around the other side, where there's sure to be some fruit. I know, I saw one through the wall. This has to be the most messiest harvesting character I've ever seen. Okay, except for Calypso, who does pretty much the same thing with hers. What's that? Oh, bananas. I thought it was some exotic kind of fish. Alright. Oh, let him? Fletch. Been working hard, and I'll tell you what, it hasn't gone unnoticed. Your fishing license. Thanks, Fletch. Uh, I don't think I can afford it yet. Okay, what have we got? We're making a chicken house. If we can. No, we're not, because I need a lot more copper bars. Alrighty. Let us pop our copper bars away. Pop out all the way. We're going to have to go mining, I think. And our nails. Pop our tin away. I oh, know, I need more condoms. Bananas can stay. The limes are getting a bit ridiculous. The apples are ridiculous. How many do we need for this fruit salad? Two. Yeah, so uh, you only need two of everything, so, uh, yeah, we're going to roast our fruit, I think, and then we're going to go sell it. Hello, chicken. Wait, what are you doing down here? You, I left the gate open. Seriously? How do I whistle my chicken? Come on, you. Come on. Uh, I need my fences really quick. 
<laughs> That's what we were doing. Gunwood planks. Where are they? Nails, where are they? Right. That's we have an emergency chicken enclosure to build. Alright, I will come back and and do more, but where is she? Come here, you pain in the neck. You know what? I was planning on fencing this anyway. Mind you, if I fence it in here, she's not going to go back at night. So what I might do is I'll fence her in for the day and then when it gets to the point where she's uh, hopefully going back to her coop. Oh, this is why we need an emergency chicken enclosure. No. I know, stop scolding me, you evil chicken. <gasps> she did sideways dance on me. No, 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 yet. I know I, I don't know how to whistle them uh, so they follow me maybe I should just see if there's a tutorial on it because I'm just trying to keep it from getting eaten oh no stop it you evil thing of course you choose the worst direction to run in don't you You know I'm going to have to spend time getting all these up, you evil beast. Uh -uh. Oh no, am I out of... No, I'm not out of fences. Are not a free range chicken. Right, are you stuck yet? No. Maybe. I know, I'll turn around and she'll be somewhere that she shouldn't be. Such is the way of chickens. Well, there's a bit of a, a quandary. I, I have heard that you can whistle your chicken. Right, it's 12.49. I'm going to undo her. Because they like to go back in their hutch at night. So I'm going to assume... That maybe... I know, chicken cannot occupy the same square as tree. I'm going to remember that.
I know, she's cross with me too, you can tell. Hello beautiful. Yes, I'm not letting you. No, you know can has the ins from the outs from the ins now. I don't care. You can just cope, chicken. Man, you made a mess of my fence in though, didn't you? Look at, look at this. It's an absolute abomination. <laughs> She's like, I'm stuck. Yes, chicken, you are stuck because you were heading for the river where the crocodiles live. No one said you were smart. Oh, right now. Um, oh, fiddlesticks. I planted that one in the wrong spot. Well, I guess. Oh no, no seeds. Oh, now I am a sad panda. Well, alright, I guess we'll just cope. It's all good. Okay, so we're going to put our platy duck in there, which means I do want the enclosure. I wonder if there's a tutorial on how to whistle your chicken. We'll have to check it. So we, oops, we definitely want an enclosure up along here. I might make it come this way. It's the fire I can hear. All right. Oh no! Wait a minute. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to widen it a little bit here so we've got a path along the edge. Um, we're going to put a fence along here. And also the fence will extend to probably up along that crest there. So I'm going to change how things look. Um, I just don't want to lose my mangroves. Oh, they seem quite happy there. So... We are going to harvest last harvest of this lime tree, and we're probably going to remove it. Although I could leave it in the enclosure, that's not a bad idea either. Let's get cutting. No, come back, B. <laughs> where is my insect net when I need it? All right, where'd she go? All right, there's one over there. It's not the one we're after. There's the other one. Okay. They were just both normal bees. Sometimes you get a queen bee out of them, which is why I was so anxious. All right, well, maybe we'll get another nest. Let's just eat something first. Ariel looks a little bit, you know, hungry.
I'm thinking just to get the light on the ground. So what we'll do is we'll get some uh, grass seed in here as well. We'll make a mixed tropical enclosure. It's four o'clock. I'm going to give this chicken a chance to go back to her to her nest. Where is she? Here you go, girl. All right. Man, I'm not nervous about this. You are. Where are you going? I swear, if you get yourself eaten, Chook, it's on your own head. It's what you call free range. I know, the crocodiles love them. <laughs> Although I've not had one eaten yet, so this could be an experience for me. Come on, Henny Penny. I don't know if she'll follow me. She might. We'll see. We'll see if she does. I'm not looking. This is me. So not looking. Okay, I'm looking. She's. I'm so not looking. <laughs> no, I know, right? I will have to buy another chicken, I think. Oh, I was going to look up tutorials. That's right. Okay, animals. Chicken. I could sell her. But I don't want to sell her. Pedia. Okay. I know, what am I doing? I should probably get a um a picture of her before she gets eaten. That might help. But I don't have a cam I do have a camera. Where is she? Come on, chick chick. Come on. Come on. You, you're going to follow me? You mean it was this easy all along? You feral little monster. Come on, Chuk Chuk. Come on. Is she moving? She's thinking about it. Is she tired? See, I'd love to be able to just pick her up and carry her home. Come on. Oh, evil little monster. All right, the chicken is now safe. I'm just going to cut down these gum trees. Then I'm going to work out what I need for a, um, a pleep shelter. I think I'd see the same sort of shelter as I do for a wombat. So we'll, um, we'll make some space for them. We'll replant our gum forest. I know, we will chop all the trees.
So yeah, the, the trick with your animals is if you have a gate on your fence, close it. <laughs> Let's gather some timber. All the timber. You know what we need now? We need to actually go gather some body brush seeds and um, create a massive field of them, just like we did for the others. Just as soon as we finish uh, building this one, I think what I might do is build it straight. And we'll build this straight as well. So where's my shovel? go this way. I know it's a long way to lug your dirt, but we don't want the dirt there. We want it um, over this way. And we'll do the same for our pleat, our pleat pan on the other side. I did forget I forgot. So sell for fish, spend two thousand, cook something. Alright, we're just gonna ignore that minute. I know the chicken kinda of really threw me today. Toss that there. So this will be our um our pleat enclosure just over here near the billabong and i need to mine i need to mine a ton of copper so that i can get and um and get that finished we'll just get this area tidied up first so we're gonna run a fence probably take out those three hardwood uh, 3D and we'll replant that. I might put my pine forest just here So that'll be good So we just keep our resources pretty close All right, then what I might do just take out this hardwood tree here And we'll just carve out, carve our way, carve ourselves an outline. That way our fence doesn't have to drop down a level either. It'll be easier. Right there. I'm gonna have to do other bits in a minute. Just grab that. Okay, axe time. I know that chicken gave me heart failure. I was just imagining all the things that could go wrong for her. Uh, we are going to need our, um, our spare axe. Definitely going to need to go copper mining soon though. Alrighty, away we go. Hey, <laughs> just... You know what, at least you're cool in the water. We'll probably want to replant a couple of these trees in this area, just so... Um, it looks pretty, but
I know, we get twice as many seeds, it's kind of good. <laughs> Man, she was just... This one. All right, let's get all of this up. Right, there we go. It's it's really starting to take shape now, so we should be pretty pleased with that. Let's um. So I'm also out of nails, if I remember rightly. Just grab our gumwood fences. And we'll pop those down. I don't know, how many feet am I going to have? Um, I want three or four of them. Maybe half a dozen, <laughs> something like that. So we're going to make them this massive enclosure that goes all the way around, basically because this is this is a large pond. And uh, when they bring fish breeding in, if they ever do, we'll at least have the start of the pond for them. Uh, so we're going to just bring the fence to here. And I might just dig that out so that we've got, let me just grab my shovel, no, shovel shovel well that's it oh no wait a minute are we doing the fence too high we might be too so we could just make the fence come down here and then that would mean we could just Bit more worried about stuff jumping in at this point. I don't know, whoops. Clumsy shoveling is us. It looks very much like I've got mangroves growing in this area, so I don't want to disturb them too much. But we don't want the pleep getting out either, so we'll just block this off here. So basically we can bring our fence uh, along and we'll run it right along close to this dirt wall, which I might regret. Well, I could just dig a hole here, that would work, make a river. Uh, so we're going to run our fence along this way. That is going to be in the way, isn't it? Yeah. All right, you don't really need any high energy food. All right, so now we've got that ready. We're gonna, we know we're gonna need a bunch more. Um, plant our blackwood trees in here. Put down some more grass seed so that, that it's kind of all covered. And um, 
That's how. That's and then we'll put in a, a pen. I'd like an animal house. Wow, well, she's tired, isn't she? Too bad, kiddo. We have logs to carve. Alrighty, let's go with the um, this. I know, we'll go until very close to midnight, or until I finish this pile of logs. I know, she's tired. I'm sorry. I shall not. We got a lot done today. Even, even with chasing the chicken. But we still, we're still not really ready for Irwin's next visit. Because I need another couple of chicken huts up, up there to, um... to house them in. It was it 11 days for um, our corn and 9 days for our wheat. I planned them on the 4th so we're looking at some action on the 13th for the wheat and the for the um, for the corn so I also need to think about building some grinders and actually where I'm going to put my windmill and how I'm going to lay my machines out around them so this arrangement is going to change I know, we're just going to nearly done with all of this. I won't do the hardwood, we might leave that for next episode. Uh, but we really do need to take a run into town to see how our towns are getting along. Uh, so we'll do that next episode as well. Um, I'm just, like I said, I'm just trying to get things set up for when we do manage to get Owen to arrive. But we need the uh, the extra chicken pens first so we can buy some more stuff from him uh, I think we might have enough to make some kind of fruit salad yep so we have space so let's get the fruit I know just I know I, I, I just can't <laughs> let's put the cooking table back on the floor no. Oh. That kind of works though, because then I could pick those crates up and put them in the middle. It all depends on what other um, workstations I have. Let's just grab that again. It's it's actually not letting me move. And again. Come on, I've put equipment down hundreds of times. What are we doing? Come on, Ariel. There you go. It's, it's being really sensitive about where I put that. Fine, you win. I'll, I'll do something different. Okay. So we're going to get about a few more of these done. That was one of our daily tasks. Just get her to cook what she can. It's the Quandongs who are really short on them. They just seem to have a much slower growth rate than anything else. Uh, let's pop everything away, as you do. Uh, if I'm going to move those chests, I'm going to have to empty them. Though. It's a menace. But it will be done. Where are my gum nuts? Pretty sure I picked them up. That's okay. I probably just moved them across without noticing. It happens. 
Let's go with this. And we'll get all of that done, that away. We didn't put that down. I might put it in my hotbar so I remember it. All right. But on that note, guys, it is definitely time for me to check my journal. Grab my Cordon Bleu Chef 52 out of 50. We did good. And, um, let this little character get some rest because she looks absolutely exhausted. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit like. If you want to see more, please hit subscribe. And I'll check with you later. Level 1 farming. Yes. Alright. I'll see you around, guys.